Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new amazing application, which is called Aider. It's a GPT powered coding application within your own terminal. Now, Aider is a command line chat tool that leverages the power of OpenAI's GPT models to assist you in writing and editing code, which is directly within your own terminal. It provides a convenient interface for interacting with GPT and can be used to perform various coding tasks, such as starting your own project or modifying code within existing Git repositories. Now, ADAR aims to simplify the coding process by integrating GPT capabilities seamlessly within your own workflow. Now, you might be wondering, this is quite similar to StarCoder LLM. Now, the difference hey, is, is this utilizes GPT models to actually help execute and write code, whereas StarCoder LLM has vast amount of data that is trained upon for different purposes such as editing code. So I highly recommend that you check this out as it's very similar to what they've been actually able to accomplish. So what l has actually able to do is that it utilizes and actually takes emphasis on the GPT models to actually help implement and assist you in writing and editing code directly within your own terminal. So these are two amazing different things that you should definitely take a look at. So I'll leave the link for Star Coder in the description below if you guys haven't checked it out below. But in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at ADAR as to what you can actually do with this amazing application, as well as executing our own code by installing it locally on our desktop and showcasing you how you can actually get started with this application. We're also going to take a look at some of the examples of some different use cases of what you can actually do with ADAR, some of the actual applications that were created with ADAR, and showcasing you some of the actual complications as well as the limitations of this amazing application. And we're also lastly going to take a look at some of the features as to what you can do uh, with this amazing application. So with that thought guys, if you guys haven't checked out any of my previous videos, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so, because there's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. So definitely check out my previous videos if you guys haven't already. Uh, if you guys haven't subscribed to World of AI, I would highly recommend that you do so because I'm going to be constantly posting the best value for you guys so that you are up to date in the AI world. And I'm also going to be back on my regular schedule, guys. So stay tuned for regular uploads. You might even see uploads two times or three times a day. So stay tuned. I'm going to be posting every single day. I'm going to stay back to making sure that you guys get the best content now if you guys haven't already followed world of ai on twitter it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can do so i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here so definitely stay up to date on these two different pages and with that thought let's get right into the video so one of the key features of adar is its ability to assist with common git operations now with adar you're actually able to easily perform tasks like git commit get difference and undo changes suggested by GPT, all without the need for manual copying and pasting. Now this is streamlined to be integrated within Git, which allows you to efficiently manage your code base and collaborate with others while taking the advantage of GPT's coding assistance. Now additionally to this, Ader is designed to help GPT understand and work with larger code bases. Now, as a successor to GPT-3, you have GPT-4, which is, has been improved upon with its capabilities, as well as its dynamics, where it can come to handling complex programming tasks. Now, with ADAR, it was actually able to provide specific features that aids GPT-4 in comprehending and modifying extensive code bases, which makes it a valuable tool for developers working on sizable tasks. So, if you have the accessibility of using GPT-4, I highly recommend that you integrate it with ADAR, as you're going to be able to get the best GPT-powered coding within your own desktop. Now, by combining the convenience of a command line tool with the power of GPT, we're able to see that ADAR offers an enhanced coding experience. It allows you to interact with GPT directly within your own terminal, which eliminates the need for switching between different applications and environments. Whether you're starting a new project, making changes to existing code, or managing a larger code base, ADAR can provide valuable assistance and streamlines your own coding actual workflow now before we actually get into the later bits of this video i want to actually emphasize some of the things 
as well as the, some of the use cases of this application. Now, I'm going to leave all the links in the description below so you can actually check out all these things. Now, once you're on the ADAR website, you can click on the examples tab over here. Now, once this loads up, I can show you some of the things that you can actually create. We can see over here, you're able to see this tab what's it like to code with GPT-4 and ADAR. And we can see there's a lot of different examples as well as use cases of this application and this dynamic between these two models. We can see over here, you're able to create a hello world Flask app, which is basically integrating and as well as creating a Flask app, which can be used to help deploy different types of applications on the web front. You can see you're able to start from scratch and have GPT create a simple Flask app with various endpoints such as adding two numbers and calculating the Fibonacci sequence. So it was actually able to do this and it was able to create this Flask app by giving it a, prom a prompt. And what it then does with the application is that once you give it this prompt, it starts working towards creating this application by integrating the code that is needed to deploy this app. We're able to also see that you're able to create a ping pong game with ADAR as well as with the utilization of GPT-4 and Pi game. So what you can do is once you have the application start up, you can give it a prompt, which I'll showcase later on in the video. But in this case, you can see over here, can you make a simple game of a pong with Pi game? You give it a simple prompt and what it then does is that it then accepts the prompt that it's given and then it gives you an answer where sure, I can help you create a simple ping pong game using Pi game. First, let's break down the steps needed to create the game, et cetera, et cetera, over here. And then what it does, it starts working towards initializing and installing the code that is required to create this game as it utilizes GPT model to help build the code that is needed. And what you can then also do is that you can then play around and keep talking with the GPT model as it continuously works towards creating the code needed for the game. We can see over here as you go down all the way, you can see that you can even modify and add different things later on. We can see with this prompt, each time the ball bounces off the paddle, can you make it go 10 times faster? So what then the GPT model responds with is that sure, let's increase the ball speed by 10% each time it bounces off the paddle. So it then adds the additional modification of the code and then you can what you can do is deploy it through a different type of application which can deploy this whole game as you add the code that is needed for this modification so then you can continuously add the whole code that is required for the game and deploy it with the different application maybe pi game for example and you can then deploy the code that is executed with this application so it just goes to show there's a lot of different things that you can do and it's quite amazing to see that you're able to generate code just like that who knew that you're able to do stuff like this in this day and age it makes life so much easier uh in this case it's not so much of a easy thing as you're only creating a game but if you're creating applications for a, for a web application or a client you can easily do so with this amazing app uh, i'm not too sure about the business front or the commercial needs or use cases of this application so you might need to do your research on that but it just goes to show that you're able to ease off your day-to-day -day like tasks by utilizing such applications like ADAR to simplify and edit your own code in different use cases like this. Now, now you get a better idea of some of the things that you can do with this application. I'm just going to quickly highlight some of the features as to what you can do with this application and then we'll shortly go towards installing it locally on our desktop. So as you know, we're able to see that Hater offers a range of powerful, powerful features. And these are some of the things that we'll showcase as we go forward. Uh, firstly, I want to talk about the chat interface. As you launch ADAR from a command line, you're able to engage in conversations with GBT. And this is something that we saw with the previous examples that are some of the use cases of this application. You're able to discuss and edit code together by providing a set of source files for GBT to review and modify. Secondly, you can request changes and improvements, which basically allows ADAR to ask GBT for new features, changes and improvements, or even bug fixes to your own code. You're able to also request additional test cases, update documentations, or even have code refactors. 
thirdly, you're actually able to implement an automatic editing feature which allows Adar to apply the edits suggested by GPT directly to your source files. Fourthly, you're able to have an automatic commitment feature which basically has each change sets made by Adar to be automatically committed to your local Git repository. Now this is a descriptive commitment message to be generated for each change, providing a safety net for your code base. This makes it easy to undo changes or manage longer sequences for changes using the standard Git workflow. Another amazing feature is the coordinated code changes. With ADAR, you're able to support working with multiple source files simultaneously. This basically means that GPT can make coordinated code changes across all the files in a single change set or even commitment folder, and it makes it efficient to implement a broader modification. Now, another main feature that I want to talk about is that ADAR gives, can give GPT-4 a map of your entire GitHub rep repository. This basically allows ADAR to offer the capability to provide Git, uh, GPT-4 with a map of your entire Git repository. This feature helps GPT-4 understand and modify the large change bases of code more efficiently and effectively, which enables it to provide accurate and relevant coding assistance. Lastly, there's another feature of manual editing where while you're actually chatting with ADAR, you can manually edit files using the preferred text editor. Now, these are just a list of some of the main features of ADAR. Obviously, there's a lot of different things that are associated with the features with ADAR. So if you want to get a better idea, I highly recommend that you check this out with this website that they have created. There's a lot of tips as well as a lot of information that you can check out with this application. Now with this thought, let's get to the next step where we actually start installing this locally on our desktop. First things first, you're going to need Git. This is going to help you clone the repository onto your desktop. Secondly, you'll need a language editor, which is called Python. We're going to be using this to help edit the code. Lastly, we're going to have Visual Studio Code as a code editor that is going to be integrated with our terminal to help edit as well as deploy the code of this application. Lastly, you will also need an API key. But don't worry about this, guys. I'm going to be changing this key later on, so don't need to comment change your API key or hide it. I'm going to delete it, so don't worry about it. But we're going to be using this key in today's video and you will need a paid one. So make sure you have the rate as well as your credit card links so that you can actually utilize the paid access for this API key and this application. So once you have that set, let us then go on to the GitHub repository. Now I'll leave all the links in the description below. Uh, what you want to do is once you're on the ADAR GitHub repository, copy this link over here by clicking this green button over here copy it once you have that copied open up command prompt type in git clone paste the link click enter once you have that uh, started to clone the repository onto your desktop you can click cd adar click enter again what you want to do next is scroll down a little bit uh, go on to the getting started tab copy this pip install command right over here once you have that installed paste it in your command prompt and click enter. Now, once you have installed the files, I'll be right back. Once you have finished installing all the files, I want you to go back onto the adar.chat website and I want you to click on the installation link over here, which has all the instructions as it'll be easy for you to command copy this code over here. Now, what you wanna do next is copy this code right here. And what you can then do is go on to Visual Studio Code and once you have this application opened up, you can then open up a new window. Let me close the old one. I'm gonna open this folder, ADAR folder that I cloned. Once you have that opened up, you can click the terminal, click a new terminal, uh, type in ADAR, type this. Oh, sorry, we already have this over here. So let me delete it. Uh, what you want to do is then copy your API key and then paste it right here. Once you have that inputted, you can start working with the application and you have it fully installed. And this is where you're going to be working with the actual application and deploying your own code. So what I'm going to do now is once it's finished installing, I'm going to start 
typing my prompt to what I want the actual application to create. So I'm going to actually ask it create create me a web uh, calculator for my income tax in the United States. And what once I have that inputted, you can see right here, it then starts working towards the things needed to actually help you create this calculator. Now we can see, sure, I can help you with that. However, I need the information to proceed. What is your filing status? I'm going to say married or not single. It will be easier. Who do you want to include state taxes or federal taxes? Just state taxes. Three. Uh, do you want to include deductions and tax credits in your calculator? No. Four. Uh, do you want to do you want a command line interface or a graphical user interface or a web? Let's say a, just a command command line for an easier purpose. Line interface, and lastly, do you have a specific requir requirement for programming languages or technologies? No. So once I have that inputted, you can then work with the GPT model to then create. Then we can see right here, all right, I can create a simple command line program for you. However, I need to know which state you are you are in as state tax rates vary. Okay, let's say we're in New York. All right, I'll create a simple command line in Python that calculates the state income tax for a single file filer in New York. The tax rates for New York are as followed. We can see right here, it's able to start working towards the different types of brackets that are taxable in New York. Then here's the PyCon code that it then creates. So then we can actually see that it starts working towards uh, creating the calculator that is based off of the rates that we've created for New York. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is incredible to me. This is actually so sick and I have a lot of hopes as to what they're actually going to keep on creating. Uh, imagine if they're able to create an easy access website that can actually help you create the web accessible code that is required to execute for your own purposes. Now, what we can see right here is that this program will then ask you for your income and then calculate the tax based off the tax bracket. This amount will be then printed out. So allow a creation of a new file. That pie, yes. I don't want a git uh, processor clone to, so I'm gonna click no. So once that is done, it then creates this income tax calculator dot pie. And what you can do is that you can then access this over here in the examples, I believe. And or and then it creates a new path actually. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the file and I'm just gonna give it a random figure so it then calculates the tax based off the calculator that we created towards. So once I have that figured out, I'll be right back. So guys, I saw that it created a new path right here. And what I did is I just launched it and it's asking me to in include enter my income. So I'm just give it a rough number of 80,000 click enter so it then states that your state tax is 4872.0 cents which is absolutely remarkable guys uh, one thing i also want to note is that you can actually track the history of the different types of permits that are inputted within this code and this is something that you can then copy and paste into different things you can also check out the input history of the different types of things that are used to help you create this application and this is just the gist of what you can do with this application of ADAR. In conclusion guys this is something that is quite amazing as to what you can do in having an assistance in which you can help write and implement as well as edit your own code directly within your terminal. This is going to be quite revolutionary in a lot of different ways. So I highly recommend that you check this out, guys, as it's going to be very beneficial for you. Now, if you guys haven't already, it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and check out my previous videos if you guys haven't already. And with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, fellas.